The first time that I ever brewed beer uh, was actually the first time that I'd ever met Sam. I instantly found a love for brewing. It was one of our first couple batches all together, all three of us. We all went to Sam's house. I believe we were doing a scotch ale. So we got to talking. How cool would it be to start something like this, like a, a brewery? And eventually, you know, the phone call came. And keep in mind that I just met Sam. He's like, so, remember that little conversation we had? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'm pretty serious about that. There was a long pause. It took me back and I was like, wow, uh, I really don't know how, what it takes to start a brewery. That's when I really started to write the, uh, the business plan. I adorned my blue suit and I think I met with 12 or 13 banks before we actually got one to say, we think you have a legitimate idea here and we'd like to back you. I'd say the first milestone was commercial production. I think that was the most terrifying, was the day that we actually opened. As word of mouth kind of spread, hey, there's this little brewery selling growlers out the back door. They give you a little tour of their brew room off the cuff. You know, literally, I don't know if you could start much smaller. It was crazy. So in the middle of brewing, I would have customers come through the door and want to get their growlers filled and I would have to tell the customers, be you two minutes, I got hop additions to throw in. And they really didn't mind at all. They thought it was just crazy that they could see me 20 feet away working and they would want to watch and shoot the bull with me about beer. And they just loved it, just loved it. What blows my mind is how quickly it went. Uh, when we started, we were brewing one barrel, which is 31 gallons a day, now we're brewing 500 gallons a day. Well, I want us to be successful, but I never want us to lose that kind of that homebrew spirit. And the homebrew spirit is being creative. You know, we really try to use the most premium ingredients that we can. You can taste the difference, for sure. Here at Badger State Brewing, we only use real ingredients, no fake extracts. You know, we get hops from top tier sources. We get our grain from right down in Chilton. You know, beer for us is uh, something that we see at, I guess, the center of gatherings. There's not like ever a bad time to be in the tap room, it seems like. It's always, like everyone's having a good time. It's even better when the beer is really good. <laughs> it doesn't feel like a job for me. I love beer so much that I get to make it every day and sample it, and how cool is that? Love what I do. Wouldn't trade it for anything in the world.